Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we'll practice a specific question type. Now these videos, they are short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And at the end of today's video, I will show you where you can access even more video lessons to help you build your confidence when it comes to math. The focus this week is, drum roll. <laughs> Forgot what I was gonna say, let's try that again. The focus this week is, drum roll. <laughs> Matching item, one of my favorites. So let's not waste any more time, let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, third grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try to solve it on your own first. Then come on back and let's check your work. All right, third grade, welcome back. Let's go ahead and see how you did. So I see that this problem is a matching item question um, with true and false. It says determine whether each equation, that means that we have equal signs, which we notice right here, Okay, is true or false. False means not true. All right, so what we need to do is, I see two sides of the equation, and the cool thing about an equation is that if it's equal, both sides must have the same value. So what we need to do is find the value of the left side and the right side and see if they are equal. If they are, we'll pick true, and if they're not, we'll pick what? False, that's right. Okay. So you can help me out with this one. We've got this side over here. It says 32 divided by eight. 32 divided by eight is what? Four, right? Good. And on this side, four times eight equals what? 32. Now is four equal to 32? No, right? That is not true, which means that we need to select which one, true or false. False, very good. Okay, next one. So we have two times 10, which is what? 20, okay? And then five times four on the right side, which has a product of what? 20, that's right. And is 20 equal to 20? Yes, those are equivalent values. So we can go ahead and select true or false, true. And now for the last one. So on the left side, we have five times zero, and any time we have a factor of zero, the product is also zero. And then on the right side, we have 45 divided by nine. What is 45 divided by nine? Yeah, it's five. Okay, is zero equal to five? No, that is not equal, it's not equivalent, it's not true, so it must be what? False. So we'll go ahead and go over and select the false one. So if this were a computer-based test, you would go ahead and just check which answer you want to pick. That is it for this problem, so make sure that you pause the video if there are any notes that you still need to copy on your paper, and then when you're ready, let's close out this video lesson. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you've got to put in the practice, and you've got to make sure that you are throwing down your very best effort. I believe in you, and I will see you next time, world changers. Bye!